Hello friends, welcome to Village Idiots for Christ, we're nuts for Jesus and just plain nuts. Uh, we missed a day, um, I forget what we did yesterday, but it was just a bad day yesterday. So, um, But we are in uh, Psalms 45 today and Jeremiah 11 tomorrow, then continuing forward. Wait a minute, no, we have Matthew tomorrow, I think. No, Matthew tomorrow, yeah, Matthew. So anyway, um, we are going to do it in Psalms 45 today. So again, apologize for any discrepancies here. Still got the working thing trying to figure out and everything's going on. But it's all good. It's all good. We're going to get this done. We're going to figure this out and we're going to get try to get consistent with this. So I'm going to get, um, get um, these videos of, of teaching and then the spoken word. I'm going to go back to spoken word. Unfortunately, no more music. The uh, the apps for uh, AI. <laughs> you know, it's. I'm going to tell you a, a real quick tale here. And I think this is going to be the way of AI. Now, this is just a personal observation for me. I'm not putting this on anybody. But you pay so much per year, you get this AI app. And it was producing beautiful music, up to four minutes. And these beautiful songs, lots of orchestration and stuff. And all of a sudden, we went from... and But we'd already paid and we'd gotten several hundred songs done. And then all of a sudden, it went from four minutes to 30 seconds. Okay, and I'm like, for a day, it's like a day or two, it's 30 seconds, so the, so it sounds like Mickey Mouse is singing, and so and this this story's going somewhere, just, just follow with me, so after a day or two, it went back up to 2 minutes and 11 seconds, that was weird, I don't know why 2 minutes and 11 seconds, but then the the quality of the music was totally, really bad, I mean, the orchestration bad, the voices bad, the pictures, I would give you a little picture bad. So I think this is what the promise, uh, this is, just, again, just a, just a personal observation. This is just a Joshism here. But I think this is how AI is going to work. AI is going to promise you things and give you things for a while. And then when you're sucked in, you're enjoying it, it's working out good. It wasn't changing the, the scripture on me. It wasn't doing anything bad. All of a sudden, it degrades you know, all of a sudden, you, it's made this promise. You can get up to 2,000 songs in a year. It's keeping a track of them. And all of a sudden, you know, it's kind of like the internet access. You know, you get the really good internet access at the beginning, and then you use up all your data, and all of a sudden, you're getting crappy internet. I think that's what this is doing. And so, so again, I'm, and again, I'm not trying to make a big deal out of this, but AI delivered for a while. It delivered for a while. And in the future, with Antichrist and what's coming upon the earth during the tribulation, you know, things are going to look good for a while. He's going to be a man of peace for a while. He's going to use all this technology for your betterment for a while until the mark of the beast comes, until all of this stuff turns around against you. And all of a sudden, you're sucked in, you're enjoying it, you're actually hooked on it, you know. And I could have got upset. I was really enjoying this music. But then I realized, hey, you're not spending as much time in the scriptures, and this music's a nice fallback position. And I was putting Bible in there, but no no more. I wasn't doing poetry like I used to, which is new revelation from the Holy Spirit for me. And so I think this is how it's going to work. It's going to be very, very subtle, and it'll, it'll be delivering on its promise at the beginning. But then it's going to pull the rug out from under you, just like this. A friend of mine who's got the same program did exactly the same thing to him. So they give you a lot to begin with. Once they get your money and they've got you for a while, then, I mean, it wasn't a lot of money. But the point is, you, you're expecting a good product, a continually good product, and all of a sudden, boom, it's gone. And uh, and fortunately, I've got all the old music. I saved it, or most of it at least. I've saved it, so I can still listen to some of what was created. But it was disappointing that in the end, it you know it just it turned out to, it turned out to be a lie. It turned out to be a deception. And so again, we should think about this this way that even if it looks good and it's beautiful, and I'm not ringing any alarm bell here, but still. Think about what happened to me. Just this little AI music program, all of a sudden it, it falls off the map and goes south on us. So, see, that's why AI, you know, people are going to get all hooked to this technology. It'll never take the place of God. God will never fail you like that. God will always be there. I just spent the last eight hours getting into the Bible today. I needed to have a break, and I just I got an audio Bible I absolutely adore and I listened to books, First and Second Samuel, Revelation, and I forgot how good just getting into the Word of God itself is. And so, 
Anyway, that's enough of my five minute little five minute story here. So we're going to get right into Psalms forty five. But I think that's a you know it's not going to be this you know Terminator crazy stuff you see in the movies. But it's gonna it's gonna let you down. Is what it is. It's gonna it's gonna drop the ball on you. You're gonna go wow that was so good. And now and then you know it'll be like well if you pay us more money. You know, if you do, if you commit a little bit more to us, then we'll and they'll hold that hold the carrot out for you until they again they pull the rug right back out from underneath. It's always going to be this little promise of more, and then they take away the you know the good stuff starts getting taken away. So, anyway, just wanted to put that out there for you today. I've been talking about using this AI music program, been enjoying it, but they pulled the rug out and. It was. It's a bummer. <laughs> I enjoyed it, but it re- made me realize I wasn't balanced. And so, let's get back into Psalms here. Psalms forty-five. It's not too long of a psalm. I think we'll jump right through there. Let's see how many verses it is. It's only seventeen verses. So, uh, I did a five-minute introduction here. You know, the Lord told me again. I know you're. I know we talk about these things, but the Lord told me years ago. I got into the Bible heavily 20, 25 years ago. All of a sudden, I kind of took away from that and got into. I was listening to worship music all the time. And the Lord eventually told me, he says, I appreciate the worship music, but your foundation is the word of God. And, he, and I said, well, I said, look, I love praising you. I can't stop myself. And he said, I, I appreciate that sentiment. I do. But the word of God, this is our foundation. This is what our entire, this is our, 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 our soul is built on this. Our eternal life is built on what's in this book. And so... I love worship. I know you love worship. But again, the Word of God should be the foundation for us as much time a day as you can. Billy Graham's one regret is not spending more time in the Word of God. And I've uh, today, after what I went through today and, and really getting into it today, I want to go back to uh, go, you know, consuming the Bible. I want, I want to make sure I'm going through the whole... I used to go through the whole Bible from Genesis to Revelation. I'm trying to get back on that pattern again where I'm consuming it enough where I can get through it and you know, hopefully several times a year, because I want to, because again, that's what the Holy Spirit brings to remembrance inside our hearts, is that word, that foundation we've sowed in there. So again, I know we're a little off track here today, maybe we shouldn't do the Bible today, but again, what is our foundation? Is our, you know, in fact, let's not do the Bible today, let's talk, we're going to, we're just having a conversation today, and I'm gonna, the title of this conversation is going to be, What's Our Foundation?, is our foundation in the Word of God that Jesus Christ said lasts forever? You know, that, that heaven and earth, I mean, he literally said heaven and earth itself. You know, we're talking about the universe passing away, but his words would stand forever. His word stands forever. Man, that's why it grieves me so much. You know, I have to keep doing this commercial about, hey, make sure you have a physical Bible and stuff. But the point is, you know, what are you sowing into your hearts? You know, 2 Thessalonians talks about people, 2 Thessalonians 2 talks about the coming of Antichrist, uh, the possible rapture chapter there, and talks about that people refuse to love the truth and so be saved. So God sends them a powerful delusion there. They're the reprobate, but they're refusing to love the truth. So what is the truth of God? The truth of God is both Jesus Christ, the living word, he was the word made flesh, and then we have the written word given to us by the Holy Spirit uh, into the minds of men and written, and people refusing to love the truth. And what are they doing today with their refusal of love the truth? They're replacing the truth with lies. They're replacing the truth with things like AI. Because AI, I mean, I admit it, it was doing these near perfect songs it was beautiful what it was doing it wasn't changing the scripture it was it was it was following what i wanted to do until it changed that's the cool thing ai may change but the word of god never changes and so that's my beef with social media in general is that's why i never wanted to get on it i'm glad i'm on it now so we can we can put these kind of things out there for people to see but people are spending hours a day hours literal hours a day either on their television or they're spending it in their social media platform, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and all of these things. Or they are they're spending it in the news news programs. That's another thing I was addicted to. The Lord had said, hey, you better get away from that. I used to listen to eight hours a day of news before I got into the Word. I was listening to the news, NPR and stuff, and God says that news is going to kill you. But the question is, what are we building our lives on? And I just spent today, I'll tell you what I did today. 
because I, um, I, I just, because I wanted to, because I felt myself out of balance recently. I get into overeating and things like this. I really struggle with my flesh, and and it's when I get out of balance in the Word of God. So today I, uh, I've been in this room all day long, and I've just been laid out, just relaxing, and I listen. I've been listening to the Bible, a, a song of song, song of songs, or Song of Solomon is my favorite book in the Bible. I used to listen to that every day. It's eight chapters. It takes no time to listen to. I was listening to that. Psalms 119 about the ordinances, commands, and laws. And, 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 the, and the, the thing about it's the longest chapter in the Bible, 176 verses. But it's all about God's commands and his laws and how perfect they are. So I listen to that. Then I listen to Revelation today because Revelation is the only book that has a blessing attached to it. It's, you know, if you, if you hear, hear it or read it and heed it, you'll be blessed. So I listened to that today. I'm not, and I'm not saying this to boast. I'm just telling you what I did today and how much better I feel now that I've done this. I'm awake now. It's four something this afternoon, and um, then I listened to Ruth and I listened to First and Second Samuel, and this took me about six eight hours today of listening. And again, I'm not boasting. I'm not. But I'm making a point: is I've listened to all this stuff today. I've put all of this word in my heart today. And I f literally feel better. My mind is more clear. I'm at peace. I have more peace now. I'm relaxed. I, I, I can feel like, I, you know, I've, I've been feeling like things are, have been kind of spinning out of control, trying to figure out the job thing. And we're getting into this ministry. Me and the wife are going to be doing ministry with the nursing home where that's leading. And, you know, I got a brother down in, in Georgia that's, you know, he's struggling with cancer. And, you know, don't know whether to go visit him. He's back in the hospital today. So a lot of things have been going like this at me. But I put the word of God in my mind today, in my heart today. And then I'm sitting here talking to you. Have, we're 12 minutes into a video just talking about what our foundation is. Man, our foundation has to be the word of God. Are you putting the word of God into your heart are you reading it? Are you listening to it? Are you watching videos where they show the whole Gospel of John? It's word for word. You know, are you doing something to feed your soul, your spirit, your mind? Are you doing something to counteract all the darkness around us? And there's darkness everywhere around us. And so this light, the light of God's word, it just again the, the washing of the water of the word, the renewing of your mind daily with the washing of the water of the word. You know. I can't tell you how important this is. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm giving you my example so you can see. You, you see me on these videos. I've made hundreds of videos over three plus years, going on four years, and people can start to think, think, think more of me than you ought to, or I can. People like me can get high minded in this stuff. But I'm just telling you, I'm just a person like you who struggles with my mind, struggles with my heart, wants to get things right, overeats, struggles with too much of this or too much of that. And yet today, when I spent the whole day, I've been in this room since 7 o'clock this morning, listening and relaxing and doing this with the Word, just letting it feed me. My favorite version that I like, that I love to listen to. I've been listening to the same version for 25 years, and it just, it feeds me. And I got fed well today. I was at the buffet, the Bible buffet today, and I got fed. I was in the Old Testament, the New Testament, all over the place, and it fed me and fed me well today. And so I want to encourage you. Take a hard, fast look at your Bible study. Are you in the Word of God in some form or fashion? You know, whatever your version is, whichever medium you choose to listen or read it in, however you choose to do it. Again, like I said, there's Bible movies, the Gospel of John, the Gospel of Matthew, the, the Jesus movie, which is the, uh, the Gospel of Luke, where it's completely acted out word for word. So there are different ways to get this in. If, you, if, you're, you know, if you're, you're in the chosen, it's not the Bible, it's not a replacement for the Bible, but it'll give you some biblical context. You, you need to get, be getting some Bible inside your heart. You need to be building that foundation because Jesus said, if we build our foundation on the rock and he's the rock, but again, he's the Word made flesh. So the him and the Bible are synonymous with each other. If you're building, you're building your house on the rock. He said both houses, the one built on sand and one built on the rock, both experience storms. We're all going to experience storms in this life. So if you're experiencing these storms, again, whether you're a Christian or not, you're going to have the storms. But if your house is built on the foundation of the Word of God, you are going to overcome and endure. And that's what I experienced today. I'm going to share my experience. November 2nd, Saturday, November 2nd, 2024. 
I had a foundation building day where I just built my foundation. I relaxed, rested. I was laid out when I was listening to this, just laying out, listening to it, just in total relaxation mode, letting it wash me, wash me out today. And so just wanted to share that with you today. I didn't expect it to turn into a 15 minute video, but ask yourself, am I in the word of God enough? And if you've got hours of time, I'd spend hours a day in the Word of God. I know that seems like a lot, but you, you, if you drive a lot, like truck drivers, like I used to be a truck driver, you know, I still am, I'm just not driving right now. I mean, that's why I'm going down the road, listening to the endless Word of God. And I used to do that eight hours a day. And I am who I am today. I'm teaching today. I'm a pastor today. Why? Because I've fed myself with the Word of God. So do a heart examination and ask yourself, am I getting enough Word in my heart every day because man you need it and again i'm living proof man without the word of god man i can't get enough food man i struggle with food you know I, I, that's one of my you know struggle with being a goofball inside my brain the word of god keeps me solvent and keeps me moving forward and i just want to encourage you in that today no condemnation not beating you up you know me and the uh, you know, Ernie and Bert and the Chicken Sisters, Mala, Noah, Hogla, Milka, and Tirza. I think I got them all right. I got them over here from whatever, 26. Uh, <laughs> right out of the Bible, the Chicken, I love the Chicken Sisters. Yeah, they right. Whatever. Anyway, but we appreciate you. We love you. And uh, so it was interesting. We didn't do a, we didn't do a, uh, a Bible thing today, but we talked about the Bible and how it's such an important foundation. These are the people that are going to know the truth from the lie. I mean, in this election we're going to, we know, you know, we know what the Bible says about babies. So that's why we are, that's why we're pro-life. You know, I knit you together in your mother's womb. You know, I mean, the Bible is what gives us the answers we need to know the truth and to be, if you love me, you'll, the, the path is this. If you love me, you'll obey me. If you obey me, you'll know the truth. If you know the truth, you'll be set free. Love, obedience, truth, and freedom. That's how it works. We love God. We obey Him. And part of obedience is being in the Word. And you know the truth, part of knowing the truth, being in the Word, and then we're free. Love, obedience, truth, and freedom. And truth is one of those four things. And your Word, His Word is truth. And so, again, love you, love you, can't get enough of you. I hope I didn't lose you today. <laughs> but I'm having fun with this conversation. I appreciate you. And again, Remember, none of us is exempt. Again, if Billy Graham, after preaching for 50, 60 years all over the world, says his one, his one regret, he said this was his one regret, not enough Bible study. But if that guy didn't get enough Bible study, then all of us probably ain't getting enough Bible study. So I know we're busy. I know we're all going a million miles an hour. But hey, how about shutting the TV off for an hour? How about putting your Facebook aside for an hour? How about, you know, and not have to do it 3.30 in the morning. You know, you can do it whenever is comfortable, whatever you need, whatever works for you. But get the word of God in your heart. You need this. We all need this. Love you, love you. Can't get enough of you. We'll be back tomorrow with Psalm 45. Woohoo!